Welcome back to BLY, the Bablano show about BLY. Busy. Like, yeah, I'm really busy. There is so much going on in the city of Dakar right now. I am running around trying to get things done, trying to get back on track. The theater that we finished, yeah, it's still in disrepair. The handyman uh, hasn't even shown up yet. Superbub hasn't shown up yet either, even though we built the bee tower. And, and that's worrisome because the mine corporation, yeah, those evil people, they're still occupying the city. They're holed up inside the mountain that I built for myself. Oh yeah, and no discoveries have been made about the cube or that mysterious disc that showed up out of nowhere. So that's worrisome too. And those are just the things going wrong. There's still lots of progress to be made restoring the city. I need to get back to work. And now I've got to drop everything and shear some leaves. Oh, it's days like this. I wish I could just go back to my old job. Why did I set off all those TNT? Oh. Ooh. My shears almost done broke. Give me them XP. Thank you, thank you. Hey, wait a second. I know I already cleaned up in here. What is going on? Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, the power station, we've got this door situation where Matstrick is trying to play some kind of prank on me. I've been checking it over and over to see if anything shows up here and it's still empty. Yep, still empty. Uh, you know, I don't have time for this. So I've got all these leaves on me and that's because we're gonna build a tree today. The first one of the series. Well, we've made a few other ones, some minor ones. This is the first major Big Daddy custom tree that we are going to make in the city of Dakara. Oh, I can't talk right today, my poor brain. Okay, let's get going. All right, almost there. Hey, hey, hey you, yeah. Yeah, you. I called you like three days ago and you're just now here? Okay, well, let me let you in so you can get to work. That was the repair man. He's finally getting here and he's in there. He's working on it now. I don't really know what he's doing. He barely brought any tools with him or anything. Oh, well, it's not like we know what to do to fix it. Oh, yeah, I was gonna do that today. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna leave these leaves here. We're gonna come back to this. So over here in the river, we've got this shulker here and some blocks clumsily placed around. I'm, I'm trying to work out an idea for a river raft. I thought that would be fun. Hmm, let's see what we can do. All right, there it is. Kind of like that. I'm thinking that maybe this people that live in Dakara use the river to get around, maybe in some little boats and things. So this, this raft is an idea of that. It's a passenger raft. Maybe people commuting into the city to go to their jobs. And you know, we really need more than one to tell the story. I don't think that's gonna do it. I've got an idea of where I'm gonna put another one. Let's head over there. Okay, I'm realizing that this idea might not be good. I was gonna put another raft in the river in this spot, in this bend in the river, but I realized a raft this close to the dam seems a little dangerous. So I'm gonna head up river and see if I can find a better location. Hmm, this canyon right here is a little narrow. I don't really want to build it here. Okay, this will be a good spot. Yeah, we're right next to the old squid ink factory. This is a good spot, a great spot in fact. Let's build River Raft 2.0 and I like it. Okay, gonna clean up this shulker box, dispose of the extra materials. I'm gonna go grab those leaves and then we're gonna hit hit up uh, that tree. Yeah, here we go. I'm sorry, I got distracted again. As I was putting away my blocks, I noticed that the road needed some work and I wanted to do that like a couple of episodes ago. I just thought I could knock it out and get it done and then it would be over and it wouldn't be a big deal. But here I am, I've spent like two hours doing just this. So I thought I would show you what I am doing. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. We'll go work on the tree now, I promise. But you know, since we're over here close, we ought to go take a peek at the cube, see if anything strange has been happening. Because, you know, the last thing we need is another weird coincidence or bizarre artifact popping into our lives. You make me sick. You make me wanna throw up. 
Okay, everything's fine with the cube. Let's, uh, let's get to that tree now. You know, everyone, distractions are a part of my daily life. And I imagine it's that way for a lot of you out there. It's a struggle fending off all of the loose ends. Sometimes you just have to know how to prioritize your tasks. It's a hard lesson to learn, but it can pay off. Yeah, uh, it can really pay off. And, you know, it, it, there's something about setting a goal and accomplishing it. And then there's the ability to say, you know, it, 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 there's more important things going on. Like I've got all this copper that's fully aged that needs to be put away. I mean, the custom tree can wait like just five more minutes. Wow, I feel so much better now. And look at all that copper that we have in the power station. I'm running awfully low on some things. Even better. As you saw, I got in the mood to restock some things, so I gathered a couple of blocks to bring over to the new storage area inside the blimp. For now, just some quartz, just a little bit of quartz and a little bit more quartz in this chest and then some coral blocks. Oh, my stomach. I forgot to eat today. Yeah, some coral blocks. We're probably gonna use them as the dead version, but for now I'm storing them alive. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to build using these blocks, but I have a feeling that these blocks will be important to the pallet in this area of the city. So it was important that I went ahead and gathered them. Okay, don't look at me like that. Oh, I wish Super Bablimeo were here already. We built the B Tower. Why hasn't he appeared? What does Super Bub need me to do? Okay, we're finally getting the leaves. Everyone calm down. In case you didn't already know, the box we dug up came from the following coordinates. Okay, investigate. Investigate this I will right now. All right, and... Oh, wrong Y level, we gotta go down. Wait a second. The coordinates lead to the inside of the power station? They dug up this box from inside the power station? Why didn't they tell me that first thing? What the heck? I've got weird, magical, creepy stuff popping up in my base and I don't even know about it right under my nose and I don't even know about it. Someone else finds it and tells me about it. I don't have time for this. I do not have time for you. Let's make a nice and simple custom tree. Doesn't that sound nice? My name's Bablimeo, and before we get started, I'd like to remind you that you can consider subscribing to my channel. It's free, and it helps me a lot. Thank you. Now, custom tree. We're going to start in the natural first place, the roots, and then from there, we're going to build up a trunk. And as the trunk goes into the air, we'll split off some branches, gradually adding in some greenery, Remember all those leaves we gathered? They're coming in handy now. Building trees is one of the most satisfying things you can do in Minecraft. Like building a tree, when you're restoring a city, you have to make sure all the parts connect and come together in the right order. You don't have the tree branch before the tree trunk. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's just the way it is. There's a lot you can do with custom trees. You can pick a real species of tree and emulate it. You can design a fantasy tree. You can match it to whatever landscape or building it is sitting next to. But here with this tree, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to let it come together naturally effortlessly and I'm just going to follow the simplest rule I can think of for you to follow when you build a tree and that is one thing at a time and everything in the perfect order the roots then the trunk and then the branches and the leaves And then if 
if you get an idea for something fancy to add to it, try it like this. That's nice. And there you have it, everybody. A custom tree. I think that's the perfect focal point for our fish hatchery. Oh, sometimes you just got to get out of the city, out of the hustle and bustle and the rat race. Come to nature and reflect. Breathe the fresh air. Soak up the sun and gaze at the beauty of nature. When things come together so effortlessly, it makes me feel so much better. In fact, I feel stronger, faster, mightier. I feel like Super Bublimeo. Super Bub. Super Bub. Super Bub. And Super Bub. Your days are numbered, mine corporation. I am coming for you. And as for you, thanks for coming and watching the episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit distracted. I was a bit distracted, but I'm so much better now. And I'm hoping that you feel the same way now that we've had another episode of BLY. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like on the video. I appreciate it. And consider subscribing to me. Bablimeo. Super Bablimeo is here, finally! I will see you in the next one.